Well, hello everybody and welcome to another video tutorial. My name is Peter Draklic and in this quick video tutorial I'm, I'd like to show you how uh, we call uh, model a uh, Viking uh, ship's hull, right? This one with her characteristics, you know, uh, characteristic uh, curves, right? S curves uh, at both ends. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, first of all, let's switch over to the side view by pressing 3 on numpad. And let's go ahead and uh, uh, switch over to the orthographic view mode and uh, let's go ahead and add a circle and let's keep the uh, the settings, the default settings for the moment tap into the mode and uh, rotate the circle around, along the x-axis by 90 degrees switch over to the front view deselect all the vertices and be border select those top vertices here plus those on the uh, left and just go ahead and delete the vertices now select those two vertices down here W subdivide them and move those two vertices uh, just a tiny little bit along the uh, Z axis and uh, perhaps scale them along the Z axis by zero so they are pretty much aligned All right. And uh, as you might know, most Viking ships have this, uh, you know, uh, more, you know, uh, stretched or uh, more wide top. So uh, having selected the uh, proportional pull off, I'm going to give it a shape, something like this, to the uh, to the hull. Okay, by having selected, by having enabled the proportional pull off. So I have made something like the profile of our hull. And now let's select all of them and switch over to the side view and just go ahead and extrude them along the Y axis quite a bit. Right. Now extrude them once more. Just a tiny little bit. Right. And in order to have a better idea what we're, 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 we're doing here, let's go ahead and add the mirror modifier to our mesh. And I'm going to enable both the X and Y mirroring. So we have a all right, something like that, and now again select those these row vertices, and uh, by pressing period on, on keypad, you scale them uh, on x y plane, but without, uh, I mean, uh, uh, in, uh, in relative pro, uh, uh, to the to the cursor, all right. So I have made something like that, okay, and of course I want now to go to the side view and place my cursor somewhere here and I want to spin those uh, vertices all right uh, somewhat so they make this curve here so this curve all right so let's go ahead and select the from the tools menu spin and as you can see I have a spin but it's not exactly the way I want this to be so I go down here to the degrees and I make the degrees something like minus 90 degrees and I'm lowering down the subdivisions uh, the steps of the degrees to something like as low as 4 right I can play around with the degrees make them I mean uh, yeah something like this perhaps All right now I extrude them those vertices oops, somewhere here scale them down uh, by pressing comma uh, on numpad you scale them down along the their relative center and also you can play alto and uh, make this a proportional scaling so you give it some this kind of of curvature here all right very interesting and now I want to spin them uh, once more right somewhere here bring bring your cursor somewhere here and just go ahead and spin them but this time uh, I'm going to be uh, changing the angle to something like from down here uh, something like this and I'm going to pump up a little bit the uh, subdivision so I have made something like that and scale them down and move them a little bit up using always the proportional fall off option okay so we have made something like that perhaps move those vertices along the local uh, a little bit uh, I mean just select those few vertices here all right perhaps by pressing B all right or control all right and select those vertices here and move them uh, so they they better switch over to the to the front view and uh, just move them a little bit 
And all right, you don't have to worry so much about that actually because you are we're going to be as you can see, you are see, going to see I'm going to be selecting this edge loop here and just press E to extrude it and bring them somewhere here. All right. So now let's go ahead and actually uh, enable the clipping option here up here to the modifier tab. All right for the uh, for the uh, for the mirror modifier and just move all of them without the proportional flop of course and just go ahead and move all of them and perhaps those few of them here down here and just close the gap right so we have closed the gap now now select this right uh, these few vertices here and perhaps add first some uh, some a few uh, look at here and there and select those to as loop cuts and just enable the proportional fall off and give this a more you know a bulky uh, whatever shape to your all right and now go ahead and select those vertices here by select this vertex shift select this one w select vertex path and extrude them a little bit downwards go ahead and extrude them one more once more right along the z-axis scale them scale them down a little bit all right and perhaps uh, extrude them along the x-axis and close the gap all right so we have made now something like this all right very interesting shape actually and perhaps select those faces here and and just go ahead and move them somewhere you know all right so we have made something like that which is rather interesting i'm going to be adding a number a level two subdivision surface modifier control two so and now we have this very interesting shape all right but we would like to have all the edges to be uh, actually to be all the edges to be uh, we don't we wouldn't like all the edges to be smooth i would like these edges to be crisp and hard so that's why i'm going to be adding an edge split modifier add modifier edge split but i'm going to be disabling the uh, deactivate the edge angle by edge angle option here and just enable uh, keep the sharp edges angle uh, sharp edges edge split by sharp edges so tap it mode and just go ahead and define some sharp edges like this one for example go to the edge select mode and just go ahead and and, and uh, just uh, select some edges that you would like to be to to be sharp, and this one perhaps. All right. So I hope, yeah, those edges we want to be sharp. So yeah, and perhaps of course this edge loop as well. All right. All right. So those edges I want them to be sharp. So Control E and mark sharp. Now if you tab out the edit mode, you can see we have ke we kept. We, we have the sharp edges here, all right, which is rather interesting. And let's go ahead and smooth out the geometry. And uh, of course, you can always uh, select all of them and W, remove doubles if, in case you had some doubles and uh, control N, recalculate the normals outside, uh, control N, so, uh, control N, and you recalculate the normals outside. So we have something like that, of course, the, uh, you you can see that this is rather narrow here this part so I want to select some edges here and just uh, if needed go and uh, by pressing alt space bar and switch over to the uh, to the uh, normal uh, uh, coordinate system and just go ahead and uh, give it some bulkiness and press alt toe of course and just try to be careful with the uh, you know with the uh, with this part here right so all right i'm giving it some bulkiness i'm if i can even go ahead and, and move it upwards a little bit it's all about you know uh, molding now our uh, our ship our shape here all right and we can uh, always make those this uh, minor uh, this minor tweakings all right this very uh, but which are really very very uh, useful all right so perhaps uh, giving uh, here some more you know uh you know making it more wide perhaps go ahead and select this edge loop down here by alt right clicking 60 
uh, control the excuse me add slide and of course disable the proportional flow first yeah, because and control the add slide and just press shift while sliding so you can bring this somewhere here and the same could be true for this at the loop as well all right control e at slide and just bring by pressing down shift all right you can bring this somewhere here all right so now we have made something like that which is a rather interesting shape i guess and uh, well now what about going go ahead and make those planks here I mean those uh, planks uh, that are very characteristic for a Viking ship. I mean those planks that are uh, stacked on top of each other, whatever. So let's go ahead and select all those edge loops here. And uh, all those edge loops here. Okay. And just go ahead and press V and separate them, split them. Alright. Alright. So now. All I want to do is to go up here and having selected this loop, shift select the other loop, right, and press uh, rather before that, right, and press select the other loop and press Alt S and scale it along the normals, right. Take special care. This is the 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 loop that is uh, you can see that better here. Uh, we have this loop here all right so let's go ahead and have an example example of this here so i'm selecting this loop all test and i am scaling it along the uh the normals all right so i have made something like that now what i want to do is to go ahead and bridge those to its loops i mean select this loop shift select this loop w and bridge to its loops all right now we have something like this which is rather interesting the shape, all right. Of course, you can uh, so you should select the top view, so the top loop, excuse me. I'll test the top of them always, the one that is connected with the and perhaps, yeah, and perhaps something like that, yeah. And now shift select the other loop W, bridge to its loops. Now select the top loop here, I'll test, extrude it along the normals. Shift select this its loop W bridge to its loop. All right, so we this way we have made this kind of very interesting, uh, you know, uh, effect here. Not this one, the other one. Alt S. All right, and select the shift Alt right click the other loop W bridge to its loops. All right, so now this one Alt S. Alt S. Shift select the other one W. It's, uh, it's loops, it bridges to its loops, excuse me. Alt right click, Alt S, Shift select, the other loop, W bridges to its loops. So now what we have actually made is this kind of very interesting planks, you know, looking, uh, you know, structure here, as you can see, which is what is very characteristic for those kind of ships.